G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joe Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, where we are back in Australia, mate. We are all the way up at the top end, up in Cape York, of the land down under, but that is only a mild concern at the moment, because tonight is Horde Night, and at the moment, I don't have a Horde base, I don't have an awful lot of ammo, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I've got a couple of hours to figure it out. So I do need to say that I went back and uh, watched the footage from yesterday's episode to try and figure out what the dickens happened to Brody. He came with me on a buried supplies quest down here somewhere and then promptly disappeared. So I want to go down there and see if I can find him because he's rolling with an infinite ammo AK, which sounds like a really good thing for someone like me to have standing side by side when the horde of probably very angry animals shows up. So I need to go down there and have a bit of a look around, but... He's gonna have to wait. He's gonna have to wait because I, I think my best chance is to turn those silos just there into some sort of horde base, I suppose. I don't have a lot of idea what to do with it. I'm gonna try my bloody best with it. I've got a bit of cobblestone now. I've got my iron pickaxe, which is bloody beautiful. You can go straight into them. I'm gonna need some more materials and I'm gonna need that hammer. And I need to do <laughs> one more quest for trading at least to try and get some more Molotovs. This is what I mean. <laughs> There are so many problems right now, and only one Muppet to try and fix it. What a recipe for disaster. The trader doesn't open until 6 anyway, so we've got a couple of hours to do nothing but stay focused for once in my life and try and figure out what I'm going to do with this. The only reason I kind of want to use these things is they're really strong. They're 10,000 HP each, which is absolutely beautiful, but... In fact, it was there one there. There we go. 10,000 HP each, so they're both made out of stainless steel. So I'm really hoping I can somehow leverage that into having it work for me. And I think, I think what I can do is I can get rid of the ladders on the outside and then build some sort of contraption on the top to give me a firing option down at whatever's going to show up tonight. Probably a bleeding Yowie's going to show up and say g'day to me. But I can have a way to shoot down and protect the base of the structures. Also with Molotovs as well. But because there's two, I can hop between them. And each time I do, it'll reset the zombie pathing. And hopefully give me some time to try and survive. I do have the mod installed, so it's a limitless mod uh, horde until 4am. So it's going to be absolutely chockers tonight. So I, I, have to, I have to do this right. I reckon that is about tall enough. Like it's, oh, can I even? Oh, great. Someone tell Marge the reins are here. But that's too high for even me to jump up and grab. But I was just going to go the normal too high gap at the bottom. But... There, I feel like there's going to be a lot... I keep saying zombies, but I think it's going to be animals. There's going to be a lot of am uh, animals clambering on top of each other, getting that extra height. So if they do stand on the backs of another drop bear... <laughs> it's going to be drop bear tonight, isn't there? They're going to be able to get up to that level. So I want to make it even higher again and just figure out a different route for me to get up to that. If I can probably even use you over there. I need to get uh, you out of the way, please. Get myself a couple of frames and build a different option. Right there, I reckon. Right there. Up to that one. Have a little gap in between so the animals can't use it. Go like you and like you. I mean, they're pretty easy jumps under pressure. I might still bin it, but I think that's the right move. It's going to quickly take... Well, not really quickly, but slowly chip away and take away the catwalks on both opposite corners. That'll be good. I'm going to replace you with some full blocks. Because what I'm thinking is not that. If I go like you... And then, oh, uh, like, maybe I should crouch while I do this so I don't throw myself off the side of the bloody tower. I go like that, and then I have some sort of platform on the very end over here. Like, that's going to give me a nice little angle down right at the bottom there. And the ladder on the inside, which side is the ladder on, actually? It's on the far side. I don't actually know which side they're going to attack. I feel like it'll be this side, because that's where the gate is, but... <laughs> Every time I've assumed I've known what the zombies or animals in this game are going to think how the AI is going to work, the game promptly slaps me on both my earlobes and tells me to jump instead. So I'm not really confident that's actually going to work. You go to them. I'm just using that as a bit of a measure because if I stand over this side, connect you there, and they get rid of the middle one. That means I can stand here. That's exactly what I needed. I can jump across to that one. In fact... I don't trust myself to jump. I've got the athletic ability of a sponge. So instead, I'm going to get you. I'm going to go slope. 
plate filler. Where are you? That one. Chuck you in like that. Gonna get my road markings. Chuck you in like that. That is the new force field, so they can't walk across that, but I can. Just remove that one extra aspect of complete and utter muppetry. The only thing that concerns me here a little is there's no way for me to build a roof. Ooh, unless I can support it off there, because I'm already I'm already going pissy. I'm already getting that little tinge of yellow, which I'm not thrilled about. I need to make some more building blocks, please. Not that many, just like a cheeky hundo. There you go. Um, Could I bring this in? An extra spot. How's it going to look, actually? If I go like you, copy that rotation. It'll mean that I'm here, because I think if I just chuck the Molotovs directly smack dab in the middle of both those palms there, that's going to spread the fire end enough to do the damage that I need. There is the spreadable fire mod on. It's Australia after all. The whole bloody country's a tinderbox. But it's made out of steel, so it shouldn't burn too much. I think that's probably... I think that's probably the go. That's going to save me some structural stability so I can replace you, that one, and then that one. You can go, you can go, you can go. You're still... You're still lacking the support? Come on, don't be pink. Don't be pink, you're fine. Every now and again, I see a shadow flutter on by because I've got... A couple of Maggie's swooping about, but they're fine for now. I'm actually going to utilize those catwalks there. Chuck in a couple of pillars. I'm going to use that to be the support for my roof. Doesn't really need to be all that much, but given there are flying spiders, probably a good shout to have some sort of uh, up protection. That is the technical term I'll have you know uh, from you. Let's go like one of those ones. Maybe to get that turned into... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Could just go like regular blocks, actually. That's probably the smarter move. Stop worrying so much about that stuff. And just get the base done. Because it's already 10 past 7. Immediately after I said that, I've gone straight back into doing exactly what I was. And trying to use some actually interesting shapes to build something that doesn't look like a box. You can go like that. It's not super critical, but it's going to make me feel better when everything inevitably goes tits up. Whether or not this goes well is beyond question. It's obviously not going to. Those tits will be vertical in no time. But at least if it does, like, when, yeah, if it does or it doesn't, is it going to be down to whether or not I built a good base? So I may as well just build a nice base. It's actually turned... <laughs> you know what? It's actually turned into something not particularly half bad. I've got, I've got the roof up there, which is all nice and good. It's supported onto these things, which shouldn't go anywhere. Both these pylons on the side here go all the way down to the um, the cylinders themselves. So that's all nice and supported. They're still separated, except for on the roof, but I can't access that anyway. I've got the ladders around the outside, so I can't fall off, but I can still shoot through it. But I'm protected from vulture vomit. And bars at the top. Dude, this is actually... I've accidentally slapped together something that's not particularly terrible. I'm going to quickly chuck in a ladder... Just there, I can make that job if I need to because I have to put some spikes down up on the top. Make sure I don't overload it though because I assume there's going to be lots of pelicans and various fluttering fucks coming in tonight. Give me all sorts of issues. Oh, that's a lot of wood though. Spikes are so freaking expensive. Let's just go like 12 out of that, I think. I'm going to probably need some more wood. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make another... How big is this thing? It's three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need 21. 21 spikes. I'll need another one, nine of you. That leaves me not much wood. So while you're crafting, I might quickly go and cut down some trees and get some excess splinters. And dude, this might actually work. This, this might accidentally work. It's going to be so nice to have a horde night where I can just shoot at things and not have to worry about any misplaced shot completely ruining both mine and my base's life. And... Now that's not actually terrible looking, I kind of wanted to survive as well. Demos only was a type. I think every zombie in the game being a demolisher was just a level of stress I wasn't prepared for. So now, take on the entire outback worth of critters, every dangerous animal on the planet, all localized in Australia, because that's where they all live anyway. Suddenly, it's like a walk in the park. In fact, for most of my life, it basically is. It does look pretty sketchily balanced, doesn't it? I am about to do a fair bit of upgrading, so... Yeah, all right. Here's, here's the idea. Here's... Oh, excuse me. Up you go. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down and replace this ladder here with a sheet or a plate or something. Probably a plate, actually. I'll still use this ladder if I somehow grab onto it. I'll still use this ladder to get up to the top. But if I can go plate like you and put you up against the face like that. Seems a little bit thick. Never had that problem before, and you can go there. Then that's giving an extra layer of supports. 
Actually, don't even need that because that's going to go to there. That's attached to the silo. I think that's giving some extra support. I really bloody hope that it is. Hmm, that might have been a little bit silly. What about if I go like this then and put you on the side over on the other side, please? Like that. Because then that's giving that attachment to you, which is attachment to you. In my head, <laughs> somewhere deep down inside, that means extra support. Well, it does make the ladder a bit heebie-jeebie. Maybe I'll replace you with a sheet. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't take much. Just a little bit of a thing just to stick you onto there. I can upgrade you. You're going to be nice and out of the way. I wanted a smaller um, footprint for that block than otherwise. Because if it does get like accidentally knocked, I don't want to suddenly have my base collapse because the structure, uh, structural stability is gone. Structural stability. There is a T in that one. Get all you guys upgraded all the way around. I did make this hammer to make this faster. It was a good call. I almost forgot. It's actually Trader Restock Day today day as well. Look at me. Look at me having my priorities in the correct order for once in my life. I was so wrapped up and distracted by base building and actually preparing for a horde night that I forgot to go do shopping. That's, that's heckin' unlike me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a whole new Woodle. Is this what it feels like to be barely an adult? Because that's a big improvement for me. I'm like the Grinch. My responsibility grew three sizes. Oh, as I say that though, oh, I don't want to test this right now. I don't want to test this right now. Ah, uh, there's an Arlene coming to say hello, but there's a lot... A lot of zombies out here. I'm going to have to quickly go bonk you with my big throbbing chlamydia stick. You can... Oh, I put one in your face and one in your butt. <laughs> All right. Ah, got to start the day somehow. The businessman got mad. He got mad. Jealousy is bad for everyone's health, especially yours, clearly. All right, listen. Can you all... Please come over here. Make sure you're loaded with all the ammo. I need all of your attention. I don't have a brogues to help me out, so no power strokes, please. Just clean, crisp, chlamydia-wielding fun. I hate the hoodies so much. They have that extra layer of armor protection, and they give you no benefit for killing them, so they cop the power strokes. You're a, you're a tanky one as well. Anyone who's tanky and more than a regular zombie is going to get that powery goodness. Like that. Send you careening backwards. You're still going. <laughs> so, there's so much tougher than I want them to be. Old mate copped it in the chin by accident. Sorry about that. Gone. Left a trail of destruction behind me. There's a couple more to go, though. Quickly grab some extra loot. A cheeky coffee. Put that in immediately. Murder Arlene and coffees for breakfast. It's a good sign. It's the breakfast of champions. Oh, look at that. I wasn't going to mention it until something showed up, and it showed up immediately. I may have done some more modding. What I was going through and adding in the wood-burning stove and the doghouse to make Sally's life wonderful, I was like, how can I make my life wonderful too? So I went through and whacked in the Woodle purple dye into the mod. Because, of course, I bloody did. Of course I did. Let's dye my can bat. Cheeky purple. There you go. It does dye the whole thing, though. Uh, maybe the bow instead. I'm not sure. Or even... <gasps> Dude, even the chlamydia flame's purple? I'm burning, burning with woodliness. That's fucking fantastic. I, it's, it's staying there forever. Staying there for bloody ever. I didn't have to use the old the old icon because it's not in the world UI anymore. It's a standalone one. I had to get it working, but there you go. Heck, see, all smiles, all smiles. How could you not love it? At some point, I will have to go and get the more uh, updated icon for it, not like the super bright icon, the normal one that I use. I just had to find something quickly that was running out of time. You're all good. You're all done. The Last couple of letters through you. And then I think this might be preemptive. This might be a little bit early, but going a bit early is just what I do. This might be done. I don't have much concrete. In fact, I think I'm going to have like 40 or so, so four blocks worth. I might have to choose like the supports, like the most critical blocks to be concreted, but I think this is fine. I'm not sure about running, like, I kind of want to run an extra layer of um, ladders down the bottom here to give me that extra protection, but I don't think I super need to. I'd be unlucky to get hit in the ankles with some vomit from down there. There is a chance, I suppose. It's just the, uh, it's, it's just the extra weight that I'm concerned about. I'll chuck down the blocks and see if it works. If it does, great. If not, I'm not doing it. There's a drop coming in somewhere. Oh, right on me. Right on me? Right on me. Oh, you... Listen. 
I never understood the allure of pilots till now. Catch me if you can made no sense to me. But now, you know what? If you showed up in an airport, I'd buy a frothy abs of bloody loot loot, I would. It's borderline in the ocean, though. It may actually be in the ocean. I take everything I just said back. If you wanted to get me wet, there's far easier ways. That's, that's a little bit too on the nose. Just because I'm questioning the pilot's motives doesn't mean I'm not going to go take advantage of it anyway. Spikes are pretty notoriously heavy, so just make sure you're paying attention to the colors. But chuck all of you along like that to protect the roof that little bit. And that will do it. Perfect. That is actually... <laughs> For a cheeky whiz-bang job that I slapped together very quickly, that's actually gone exceptionally well. I'm actually pretty bloody happy about that. I'm not happy. Hit land. Hit land. Hit land. That's absolutely wet. That's absolutely wet, isn't it? I'm going to quickly go grab it though, see if I can take a bit of a plunge and grab what I need. But now that that's done, I've got the afternoon to do what I need to do. I want to leave Townsville tomorrow morning straight after the Horde. Most of my base is set up to do that because I've already cleared out the entire village. Ooh, it might be dry. It might... No, it's not dry. That's not dry at all. So, uh, I'm going to do that tier 2 quest for Trader. Try and finish off that tier so I can leave without really a qualm. Ah, oh, it's not too far out there. But <laughs> we're up in the top end. We're up in... Northern Queensland is a ruin of platypus, but these are the waters that have saltwater crocodiles and Irigunji jellyfish. Those are like the little like thumbnail sized jellyfish that give you permanent lifelong pain if you get stung, if you don't just flat out die in 10 minutes. Seriously, like that's the, that's the real scary Australian stuff, the ones that everyone's actually terrified of. Such a bad idea to get in the water up here. Do you reckon there's sharks and crocs in this mod? I think we're about to find out. My chest is tight. I'm on edge. Grab you nice and fast and get out of the water. Get out of the bleeding water before something with fins and teeth comes and takes it away from you. There's, there's a fruit neck lizard taking a dip as well. No. Ow. Leave me alone. Oh, no. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. And I can't use my guns. Uh, uh. Where are you? Where are you, silly lizard? Piss off. Well, lemony snickets be damned. That was a series of rather unfortunate events, but we got through, we carry on. I'm a little bit messed up, so I'm gonna chuck on a first aid bando and see what actually you brought me. Got some books, salvaging tools, forge ahead, some cooking, some explosives, and some harvesting tools. Thank you. I can now make grenades. I actually, ooh, I actually have a decent stack of gunpowder back at home. I got it as a quest reward. I could maybe turn that into some pipe bombs. I'm short on molotovs, but if I can make pipe bombs, that's going to help me as well. Over we go. And up we go. Get a cell. How are you? Never losing you, girl. Pat, pat, pats. Right. You. It's like all of that. Oh, no. I used the gunpowder to make the 60 rounds of ammo that I just took. Shit. I've got a little bit left. I've got a lot left. We make 35 pipe bombs. What about grenade though? Grenades need springs, and I have a good amount of those. And forged fucking iron. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. I'll make 20 of you. Four minutes on that. Okay. It's a, it's a little grim. It's a little iffy, but we'll make it work. The mods are going out of that mod bundle as it's starting to drizzle outside. Apparently, according to the mod creator, apparently they've fixed the water issues and the dew collectors are actually water collectors, like rain collectors, that work better when it's raining, which is getting me all sorts of excited. That's all I ever wanted for those, but did get a couple of these mods. You can go into, I can't, oh, I can't put the sort of shotgun mod into an already sawn off shotgun. Probably fair enough then. I'm going to put you into them. I'm probably going to need... Oh, you're already clapped out. You're just a shit gun to start with. I'm going to put that into the bow instead. Which I can't because it's got the anti-rad. Mm, we'll go like that and we'll go... Hmm. Like you. I can't put the muscle break, I don't think, into you. No, I can't. And no, I can't. All right. So I'm just... I'm just out, I guess. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just out of options. Hang on. You. Modify. You need to be repaired as well. I can put the anti rad into you, but all of those are already helping. Plus, it has the purple fire. Maybe I'll just save the anti rad for later then and put it into something else. I've got everything cracking on. I've got some glue on the craft. Uh, yeah, I can go see Trady. Oh, no, I can't. Actually, I need to go and get my actual selling stuff. It's quarter to three. 
That's enough time. For a Nitro Express raid, that is enough time. I don't have a lot of things to sell, but I'll take you with me. I'll take you with me. Although I don't have any money. Because I spent my money on a stupid baker who's now gone AWOL somewhere with an AK and three and a half thousand dollar reduce of my money. Bloody prick he is. I'm going to leave you for later. All right. Jump in the buggy. Let's go see Trady and see what kind of quick job I can get from him. But also... Oh, there's a platypus in the middle of the road. Try not to hit it and fuck up my car. But also, he's got something good worth buying. We've got a little bit of money. Not much, but I'll try. Let's make this quick, champion. I just need to see your jobs. You've got... They're all a long way away. I buried supplies. I can do that. Northwest. Is that where... Oh, jeez. That's right. That's right up the top end. That's the tippy top end. I'll do that for you, though. Another wood or purple. 100 bucks for that. It's pretty tempting. I won't lie. 100 bucks of blue purple? I'd absolutely say that. There's two of them as well. But stay focused, Josh. Anything that's actually properly going to help you. You had the same stuff. You had six armored books last time I was here. Have you not actually... Suspect. Pretty suspect. You have another chem station, though. You've got a tier 5 dubsy, baseball bats. In fact, you... Now, see, look at that. Even... Even that tier 4 baseball bat is actually worse. Almost a full damage point worse than the tier 2 can can bat. Alright, apparently that can can bat is pretty good. Alright, well, I'm not going to say no. I'll take you and I'll take you. I'll oh, just sell you now because why not? Basically pays now. for the purples. Modify that. Thank you. And modify that. Thank you. Scrap that. Scrap that. Who wants to be purple? A came. You're probably going to save a life tonight, so you can be purple. Shotgun two. You can be purple. Give us a squizzit, yum. With those delicious purple accents. <laughs> so good. I know it's my own color, so of course I'm going to like it, but it's the best color in the game. It's the only color that actually looks like a color, not just like a faint sneeze of pigment. I don't have an awful lot of fuel, but I am going to have to take the Jeep to try and get there as quick as I can. Just don't touch the turbo. I mean, moving house can be pretty easy. I've got... Well, I've got the dog, I've got me, and I've got the jeep all with pocket space. If only Brody had not absconded somewhere, I'll, I might go and try and find him if I get the chance to. I thought I saw something on the beach, but now we're okay. Oh, that also means I can't have Brody defending me. I'm never doing that, like, that guard option again. And yes, I know him disappearing is probably a glitch, but sometimes glitches favor me, sometimes glitches don't. You just gotta roll with the punches. You can't pick and choose how the game's gonna play. If I was choosing that, I'd do a lot better. It's a nice clear day though. I can see all the way across to Darwin and the Outback. Quickly get digging. I have I can two shot most blocks. It should be relatively straightforward. What's the time? Quarter past six. I can do this. If there's another job to do after this, I'm kind of pickled. But if this is the last one to finish off that uh that tier of jobs. I thought that was it. That would be bloody lovely. Not quite. Oh my god. Fizzy. Fizzy like fucking Klobala Chlamydium. T6 bat, which is well and truly worse than my current. Scrap you, scrap you. Take that. Oi! Get off me bloody jeep there, hot stuff. There's there's a couple I've got to deal with. No ferals, though. No ferals. So, ow! How did you hit me? So no power attacks, except for you. Bloody hate the lumberjacks. Job done. Nice and easy. Back in the buggy. There was no loot to grab. No, there wasn't. All right. Swing her about. Hang a cheeky Yui and get back to town. Oh, do I... Oh, sorry. Can't. Do I go? Oh, look, it's tough to drive through the bobbly bits, but I'm going to try and go and just see if Broads has respawned. If I can find the hole, then I know that's where I put him down. But I was looking at the footage like when I figured out where I was, and I drove around that place... Oh, I'm holding turbo, dickhead. I drove around that place so often that I'm pretty sure I went over it a couple of times. I would have seen him. Broads? Are you... No, I'm a long way away. <laughs> He's not going to be here. He's much further down. This looks... In fact, this is the exact space. This is the exact spot where I did my buried supplies. Wait, the whole hole's gone. Um... I'm sorry? That... Right, okay. Hole's gone. Brodes is gone. Did Brody jump in the hole and bury himself or something? Did they have like a mine collapse and then he's cooked? Because like, yeah, it was like right here. Like there's the chrysanthemum. It was like right there. Why is the chunk been reset? No idea. No idea. But Brody, like the important thing is that Brody isn't here. I don't have time to hang about and look any further. I think we just have to 
Right that one off. Get up the cliff. Love your work. What's the time? Quarter past five. Let's go hand in the quest. Hopefully it's the last one. And then get prepped for the horde. We've already done my horde prep. I've built my base. Dude, I'm ahead of schedule. Super duper fast. In fact, before I go in, check your vendo for... St oh, still no sugar bites, but you do have a can of dog food. Pretty sure Sal... Ah! Pretty sure Sal Sal's got a last one from last time. There's a flaming lizard. There's a flaming lizard. Stone the bleeding crows. You fucking grazed my knee. Fucking asshole you are. I How did you even get in here? I closed the door behind me. How did you slink your way in? Oh, bloody lizards are crawl under the fence. You think you're safe. You think you're fine, and then suddenly you're getting your tendons nibbled by a frilly little fucker like that. All right, bud. Haven't had a great day. You're going to off me, though. Ooh, Shock of Messiah. Tube extender mods. I, mm, or, or Sammy the Sledge. I wanted the Molotovs, but I've made the pipe bombs, and a sledge could be really handy. Could be really handy, actually. Mm, I have no idea. I think for this Horde Knight in particular, I think the Molotovs are more pressing. Like, I can get another sledge later on, and I could build something specifically designed to work with some... Fuck. Sammy the Sledge, so I'm going to take the Molotovs for now. That was not the last quest. That was not the last one. You prick. It's after six. The thunder started. I don't have time. I don't have time. Maybe I can see if he's got a job for me first thing in the morning, but I don't have time for that right now. Swing this big hunk of junk around. Come on. There are cruise liners that speed up, slow down, and turn this ever faster than you. Get it together. Park the car. Grab the gubs. Get to the base and get ready. And actually, I need to put Sal in a box. Because while she's out and about, she classes as an entity, which means the, uh, the animals and the zombies might target her. And if I'm in a different place, I can't protect her. And that's not a reality I want to face. I've made an extra little chest to chuck my everyday stuff into. Like, you wouldn't really need you during the horde. Don't need the money. Do need the ammo. And I do not need my bow, actually. That's all fine. I'm going to keep the hammer on me there. You can go like that. Uh, I'll put the AK in slot two. I'll definitely need some repair kits. I will need... Oh, I've got fucking no ammo. I've got no ammo. All right, sick. Love that for me. Sally's all tucked away. Nice and happy though. In fact, you could probably go in that box and accidentally lose you. Is there anything else I can get? You've got the extra pipe bombs. So this is, this is grim. This is very bloody grim. That goes to there. I'm going to need to take... We need to take some fluids in case I set myself on fire. Uh, do I have any, like, regular water at all? No, I don't. All right, well, I'll take the coffees. If you can set on fire, caffeine will fix. I will take you to eat when it all kicks off. I need to take some medical supplies as well. That can go there. Uh, do I have... Yeah, you there. I do have some uh, painkillers for any concussions I might get. Anything else? Just, just don't panic, Josh. Just think it through. You've got the gubs. Just take it with you. So I do have enough for two concretes. Actually, I'll take all that with me in case I need to do repairs. I don't need the glue. This is dismal. This is absolutely dismal. This isn't anywhere close enough to do what I need to do. Don't ever have a real gun. I've got a couple of pipes stitched together with nothing but sweat and dreams. Oh, I've got a little bit of time though. I've got a little bit of time. Is there anything else I can do? Can I make any ammo? My pipe bombs. What am I missing? Is this going to be like bullet tips? I think it is. I wanted to make you. Ooh, was it a different crafting bench I don't recognize? That is the same recipe as normal. I don't know, but yeah, I'm out of bullet tips. Oh, uh, what? What can I do then? Don't think there's really especially much, but I did forget to check you. Got nothing good in you either. Didn't forget anything in here while I was here last time, did I? I don't think so. I'm going to find the ammo in here regardless. Right. So, I, I guess this is it. I guess this is all I've got. It's all she wrote. There's nothing I can really do. Mm, I have a quick little scout around for like, cars or something that might potentially have something fun. I've already gone through all of that. I think I'm shit out of luck. I think I'm, I think I'm well buttoned up like a good old vest. I just want to have a quick look because I do remember people saying, that's the wrong side, saying in the comments that apparently I missed a weapons bag up here somewhere. If I could get out the bloody archway, please. 
I said, ooh, I did miss a weapons bag. Always listen to the comments. Two times scope mod, tactical warfare. I mean, neither of those actually helped me, but I appreciate it all the same. Oh! You've been you've been up here for the whole week and I didn't know? All right, fair enough then. I'll quickly harvest you with a club. Super efficient, I know. I'm going to start making my way over to the, the horde base. I'll put this stuff away. Still no bong. Out bloody rageous. It's an Australian not to have a bong. Let's do some last minute upgrades to make sure these ladders don't go anywhere. If I lose those, then I'm in some real trouble. That's all good. They won't burn down after I throw some molotovs. I've got some nice steel hatches on the top of all this. That ladder at the top is kind of redundant, but I might just get myself caught in there, but okay. All right, so I think... I think the most critical part of all of this is you. Upgrade that one. Upgrade that one. It gives some extra strength there. I wish I had some more, but I never bloody will. All right, how we looking? How we looking? I think I'm all right through that. I could use that to do repairs. I got wood. I got a little bit of cobble. Got repair kits. I've got the ammo. That's it. That's all I can do. Now I just have to hit and hope. Although, actually... Ooh, let's go two of you. Get you out of the way. Drop all the way down. To there. Close that gate. I'm going to do the same. Oh, but I can't... Now nah, you know what? You know what? I'm going to be smart. I'm going to be smart about this. Unusual, I know. You go there and you go there to match... Doesn't match at all. To match the other side. Purely so, if one gets uh, destroyed, I have another, another option. I learned that from the, um, the, the passing gas. Always gotta have backups. There's a koala and a roo just hanging out down there. The horde's not even started yet. They're already starting in. I do have a couple of skill points to spend, though. I'm gonna do a restock at some points. But, ooh, actually, explosives. Demo expert, I'll take a point into you, please. I'll take a point into boomsticks. I'll take a point into... Ooh, I don't know. Cardio, maybe? I can't get another point in the cardio. I can actually if I go like you and then you. I'm not really specialized. I'm just all over the board. But I'm... Oh, actually. That works out pretty well. There's a few... Oh, jeez. They're moving so much slower than I'm used to. There's a koala. Go, koala. Yes. I've teamed up with the drop bears. They've realized who is actually from this country and decided to defend me as well. Bloody love your work, Blinky Bill. Perfect. The wildlife. The wildlife are on my side. I never knew I'd be so happy about this. Oh, I spoke too soon. I'm no longer on the side of the wildlife. I'll murder that spider with fire. It's the only way to do it, let's be honest. You see a spider that big? You burn the suburb down. In fact, they're trying to go through a different route than I was expecting, which is fine with me. Closing that gate. Actually, not a bad shout. And now that everything's... There goes the spider. Now that everything's on fire down there, it's like a constant... Long lasting. Oh, go, Ru. Go, Skips. Pick them up and put them in your pouch and shake them all about. Oh, that's a problem, though. This is going to cause more fire, but that's fine with me. Burning through the Molotovs rather quickly. Get the extra 10 was definitely the right call. Make sure the gates is defended. I mean, I'm, I'm using willy nilly, but go on fast. Pretty half an hour in. Got to do it more sparingly. There's another big spot up. Not that I can really super duper see it. I think I'll save the Molotovs to spiders. I do have a bountiful amount of 9mm. So maybe just using my pipe pistol for that and saving the rest wouldn't be a bad plan. Are you still burning? Yeah, you are. Is there another one over there though? No, I can only, I can only see four, uh, eight legs. So I think that's fine. Boom, boom. It's hard to see in through the fire and flames though. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Damn it. I bloody hate the pipe pistol so much. It's so worthless. I've accidentally just created a permanent fire trap. I've used the fences as kindling and I've set fire to it all. All right, well, you guys burn. I'll uh, take some long range shots at Arlene. Anyone who's running a straight line, gonna cop a bullet. Like that, Nance. Don't have to give them lead because they're mostly instantaneous. Still not dead. They're tougher than I want them to be. But look, they're getting here. They start burning. Chuck them on a Barbie. We don't do that with shrimps, though. <laughs> There's no shrimps on Barbies here. I'm not really sure what they're targeting down there. Yeah, I... Oh, there's one up the very top of there. I'm going to get you coming back this way, please. It looks like a feral. His eyes look glowy from this distance. Finally got a headshot on him. But I'm not really sure why they're targeting those fences. Maybe the gate's just too strong, but some of them go over that way. I'm going to go with a pipe bomb on you. Light you up. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 
Remember what I said? I didn't want to get rid of the ladders just in case. Well, there you bloody go. I fell off and clung onto a rung. Did you not die? You didn't die. Try again. Right down to the base. Right in the gap. That worked a little bit better. I've got more fire bombs and molotovs, although my fences are starting to run out. Here come a couple of spiders. It's a bitsy spider. Came up the fence spout. Gobble that for me there, champion. Put that in your fangs and smoke it. There you go. <laughs> this is much better. That looks like a real big boy all the way over there. Go long. You've got eight arms and eight hands. Use one of them to catch that, please. Is now on fire. The appropriate state for a spider that big. Copper next one. Spider gone. Oh, there's one inside the fence there, which I'm not really sure about, but okay then. Drop that onto you guys. Check the gates. There's a few over there. All right, so there's a couple of angles that they're attacking from, which is not normally how I like things. But at least I can kind of see everything from up here. I'm just going to drop that right on your noggins. You are burning. We want to go a little bit faster. Extra one down there. I'm just, I'm just chancing my arm. I'm not working on my baseball pitch. Oh, there's a couple of itty bitty spiders. As if, you know what? That's, the, oh, there's, there's more. There's so many spiders down there. How, where are you all coming from? How are you in here? It doesn't really matter to me too much. But I don't want to go over to this side. I go like that. Drop that right on all of the spiders. There you go. If only I had like a flamethrower or something, that would be the only better option for this. I think they all died except for one. I'll try and lure them back over here then, back where they were a moment ago. They're beating on something over there. I'm not sure why. What's the time? It's half past 12. We're doing okay. There you are. There you are. Boop. You. That's fine. There's maybe small, but they're big enough to shoot still. That's fine with me. I feel like the zombie hordes have stopped and now it's just spider hordes. But I can't seem... Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Just like that. Drop that straight down. Get them all burned. That was a dicey throw, but I brought fluids with me just in case I did exactly that. So yeah, so no more zombies, just spiders now. And whatever that is... So that's where they're getting through. That's where they're getting through. But they are. Oh. Yeah, nah, the koalas aren't on my side anymore. All right, Blinky, hold on to that one. Right in the corner. That's bloody perfect. Boom. Couple of them gone. We've got nine Molotovs remaining, though. I'll definitely save that for later. And instead, just go like this. Pipe bomb. Oh, right over the side. Almost miffed. <laughs> oh, it kind of did whiff it, actually. Try again. Oh, it almost stayed up with me. We're fine. We're good. There goes all those spiders. It's just, it's hard to see him down there. Suddenly, all is very quiet, which is making me nervous because it's not supposed to be quiet ever. There is a mild chance that I installed the mod wrong, that all the other mods I've installed have been working. So, ah, that's barbed wire. So, not sure why that one's come a cropper. I can hear some beating out here, though. My car's okay. This is why I had to save Sally, but sure she was nice and safe. Is it just you? Take your legs out from underneath you. Always dream of being the kind of bloke who sweeps someone off their feet, and apparently my dreams came true today. That might be the last one of the horde does. It'll quickly scamper back and get back up into my base. Maybe I, may, oh, maybe we're okay. Maybe we're all right. I mean, things are still burning, but <laughs> I didn't even need a base this good. All I needed was a couple of fence pickets and some Molotovs. That worked perfectly. It's all chill. It's all chill on the Australian front, which means we might be done here. We might be done up in Townsville. So what's next? Oh, yeah, Brody, it hurts me every time I look at just I was going to cancel that one and assume you've been eaten by... I mean, we lost our mate <laughs> in the north of Australia. He's inside a crocodile's stomach at this point. There is no qualms, no question about it. He took a sip out of a billabong and a croc came up and bit his guts out. His head went that way and his legs went that way. So we're just going to assume that he's gone and start thinking about moving on both from this town and from Broads. So tomorrow morning, we're going to get all that stuff, chuck it in the car, put some <laughs> put some into Sal as well and get cracking. I don't think Brizzo is the way to go. The low loot level is just going to piss me right off. So it's either going to be Darwin or we could go, because Darwin's like the, the sand, isn't it? Darwin's out in the desert. So we're going to go to Darwin, or we could go further south to Sydney or Melbourne. 
And to be perfectly honest, I'd rather do unspeakable things than go to Sydney. So instead, we're going, we'll go to Melbourne. If we're not going to Darwin, we're going to Melbourne. Two completely opposite ends of the country. But the grand adventure is going to have to wait till tomorrow morning because I have to sit here and wait out the last half an hour of Ooh. Horde Night. That was pretty intense. Changing from a zombie horde to a spider horde. If I wasn't so goddamn good at building bases out of basically nothing, that would have been pretty dicey. Big spider, small spiders, and all the spiders in between. Plus koalas and brews and all sorts of stuff. But I'll have to come back and start another week in Outback Roadies. Seven days to die in Australia with my wounded purple diner with a purple flame of hotness in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page the patreon who made this episode possible if you liked make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one